snowstorms, nobody hit a pole, you pay your rent, but why does your power continue to go out for no good reason? Well, before you blow a fuse in Cherry Hill, let's get WMAR 2 News Dave Detling on this. He may have the power to get something done. He's live for us outside the city's housing authority. David, go to work. Well, you heard it. Tenants, they want to know why their power keeps going out for no apparent reason. They've called the housing authority, but they're not getting answers. What they want is for the power to stay on. There are power problems at Cherry Hill Homes. These lights go out all the time. The last time they went off, it was from about 10 o'clock until about 4 o'clock in the morning. And we're not just talking exterior lights. Tenants tell WMAR 2 News everything powered by electricity goes off inside and out. I was in the middle of cooking, so stove off, grease, frying, washing machine on, and it came on for like five minutes and went back out for hours again. Neighbors say the power outages happened randomly and as of late are occurring more frequently. The problem is so bad, Jacqueline Carraway bought battery powered lanterns to light the way. I put them all through the house. I got like six of them and I put some through the house the light up so we can have light to go to the bathroom and so we can see and I got them in colors. <laughs> Tenants say they've contacted property management and have gone as far as calling the Housing Authority of Baltimore City. Sadly, they've gotten nowhere. That's why they've called the news to highlight the issue. One time it was 14 hours. No storm, no nothing. And when you call in, they always saying that it's the wind, wasn't no wind, wasn't no rain, wasn't anything. What do you think it is? They trying to save money. <laughs> That's all I can say because I'm trying to figure out why does the power keep going out. These power outages are happening more than twice a month. Maybe more than that. Um, it, but it goes out in different areas. And these tenants want answers from the housing authority. One woman even putting an order to have an emergency move so she can move to another area. Now, our team did reach out to the housing authority. A spokesperson said the department is aware of the issue and that it is, quote, mitigating the issue. We, of course, will stay on top of this power problem. Reporting live tonight, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.